Okay, we're going to pick back up at number 10. This one has a binomial, a binomial, and another binomial. Well, we're only going to work with two at a time, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on this term and this term. Now, these are special because they're called conjugates. Conjugates mean they look exactly the same, but the only thing different the only thing different between the two of them is their signs are different. If you notice, the first terms are exactly the same, the last term in the problem is exactly the same, and the only difference is, is the sign in the middle of them. Well, that makes them conjugates, and they have special properties, and they allow us to use a shortcut. So instead of having to foil this out, which if I did foil this out, I would still get the right answer, but it's a shortcut method for conjugates. Conjugates said, when you know for sure these are conjugates, we can multiply the first term times the first term, and get x squared, and then we can multiply the last term times the last term and get negative 9 because that's going to be positive 3 times a negative 3. Okay, so now we're going to drop this one down here and multiply these two, but we also once again see that these two resulting binomials are conjugates, x squared, x squared, then the 9, the 9, one's positive and one's negative. So conjugates tell us, once again, we can use shortcut on this, so we can multiply the first two, x squared, and then the last two, so negative 81. So conjugates, um, we know they just have a shortcut to them, we don't actually have to pull them out. Although if we wanted to use the full method and we weren't co uh, comfortable with the shortcut, we could always foil the entire problem out and get the same results. Number 11, we see this as well as a conjugate, so we're going to use our shortcut. That's 3 times 3 is 9x to the 8th power. And then we multiply last term in each parenthesis minus 4y squared. Alright, number 12 is a trinomial squared, which basically means I have to do 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 times 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. I'm going to take and do one at a time. So I'm going to take this first term and distribute it to everything over in the second parenthesis. So I'm going to get 9x to the fourth plus 6 x to the third minus 3x squared. Now I'm going to take the middle term and distribute it to everything in the parentheses. So I'll get plus 6x to the third plus 4x squared minus 2x. Now I'm going to take negative 1 and distribute it. So I get negative 3x squared minus 2x. And then a negative times a negative is a positive 1. And now I need to go through and add all my like terms. Okay. I see that I have 9x to the 4th. There are no other x to the 4th terms. So I'm going to kind of mark them out as I go so I make sure I don't leave anything out x cubes, let me get a highlighter, an x cubed term is here, an x cubed term is here, um, so that's going to give me plus 12 x cubed, and I'm going to mark through them, so I'm done with them. Now I'm going to look at x squared terms. Here's an x squared term, here's an x squared term, and there, so I get it. When I add those all together, I'm going to get negative 2x squared. I'm going to mark through them so I know that I'm done. Minus 2x minus 2x is negative 4x. Mark through those, and then I have plus 1. Double check and make sure that I can't add any more terms in this, and I can't, so that's going to be my solution. Number 13, 
I look closely at 13, I see a binomial times a binomial, so I think full, but then I look closer and I see that they're conjugates. Conjugates means they, they have the same terms, but they have opposite signs. So we're going to do 6 times 6 is 36y squared, and then multiply the last terms, minus 1. So... 36y squared minus 1. And then we have our last problem, which is number 14. It's a trinomial times a binomial, but I'm going to take the first term in this trinomial and distribute it. So multiply and we get 12x to the third plus 4x squared. I'm going to take the middle term, which is a negative 2x, and do the same thing. Minus 6x squared, minus 2x. And then I take my constant term and multiply it. 15x plus 5. Last step, we want to add all our like terms. So I have 12x cubed. I'm going to add these two together, minus 2x squared. I can add my x terms together and get a 13x, and then plus 5.